Hey there, Commanders. Brewer's back, and they brought all the toys to the party. This week's community goal is highly desirable. If you haven't had a chance to pick up these frameshift drives, it's definitely worth the hour or two of effort it'll take to get into the contributor slots you need for this reward. Uh, this week, the two community goals are in the Alcor system and in Colonia. So there's a fair spread between the two, and thankfully, you are not expected to participate in both unless you really, really want the frameshift drive reward twice. As it stands right now, Alcor is the larger of the two community goals, meaning it has the higher contribution volume at, well, what is that, a billion? Uh, whereas over here in Colonia, the contribution's 100 million. So, and that's units of cargo. The uh, Colonia reward is actually the smaller of the two. They just have to hit tier one to get their starport husk and the three frameshift drives, with tier two being just additional rewards and bonuses. In Alcor, you're gonna to need to hit tier five before all three frameshift drives become available, with tier six basically just being the perpetual tier that continues until the event closes. So let me say that again. This reward, this community goal, does not expire once the contribution goal is reached. It will continue for one week without regard to that limit with the limit only defining the amount of rewards that are issued at the end of the community goals normal cycle. So there's no big rush to jump in here. You're not going to miss out like you did by the second or third night the last time this was offered in December. And thankfully, since there's going to probably be a lot of contributors, these uh, reward pools are probably going to shrink a little bit as more and more people jump in. Um, as it stands right now, the... Uh, floor to get into the top 75 contributors is 11.49 so right now at least plan on two full loads of cargo in a type 9 or you know, roughly two full loads in an imperial cutter and that'll secure you your top 75 contributors slot you can also keep an eye out for fleet carriers in and around the community goal systems that will likely be selling these commodities there's usually a couple if you know how to use the search tool in Inara you can find them pretty quick but the commodities they're asking for aren't too difficult to come across throughout the bubble. So use whatever preferred trading tool you have, find whatever station you prefer, shovel that stuff into a fleet carrier if you own one, or uh, take a couple hops in and out of the CG system if you don't. This is a very manageable goal. A couple of hours of effort will basically get you the reward. And these drives, um, I would imagine, are not going to be offered very often. So it's better to have them than not. I plan on jumping on at some point before the cycle ends and securing my slot. Uh, the 6A frameshift drive, for those who may not be aware, is the frameshift drive that you want to have if you ever plan on exploring in an anaconda. This brewer drive is incredibly powerful. It lets you skip a whole bunch of engineering on your exploration builds, and it's valuable just on that front. Um, however... These 3 and 4A frameshift drives are no slouches either. These let you get some of the small ships that are normally not great at exploration and make them just a little bit better. Um, I can't remember which one I've got in my, I think it's the 3A in my Imperial Courier, which um, I have one that's exploration fit for flying around different surface sites and doing brain tree scans and stuff like that. I find it to be very helpful. It makes it just that much easier to fly. Um, let's see, I can't remember what the 4 the 4A I think is the Cobra 3 and there's a couple of other small ships they're not terribly relevant but that 6A oh boy you want that 6A I've already got one one of these brewer drives in my anaconda and you can feel the difference uh, my second 6A is probably going to go in my uh, federal corvette to just help that jump range a little bit more since they share the same frame shift drive uh, let's see is there anything else in here I don't think so um, Lore-wise, it's the Colonia Highway. You're getting extra starports to dock at, so we'll probably see more settlements and other things start happening in the systems where these stations go. If you're into the BGS, um, I think that these highways are going to have some limited but potentially interesting gameplay around the controlling factions that operate in and out of these systems because they will be effectively... Um, economic bottlenecks through which anything going between Colonia and the bubble has to pass. So we'll see what FDEV tries to do with that particular plot thread going forward, but that's really about the only thing that's going on here. 
So uh, let's see, is there, yeah, that's all I got for today, Commanders. So I will catch you guys later.